So what up 2K fans, it's your boy Shake. With 2K24 only a month away, it's basically right around the corner. Now you know it's not officially 2K news season until Mike Wang starts tweeting. But lucky for us, Mike Wang, the groundhog that he is, began tweeting last night and he let us know that this quick drop animation, this one in particular, will be removed from NBA 2K24. You guys know this was a lightning fast bailout dunk that was nearly impossible to stop and it only required an 80 driving dunk in order to get it. And I know there's like a top five list of animations a lot of you guys want them to remove. So don't let them stop there. Go ahead and chime in. Tell them some other animations that you really feel like should be removed. Discuss it with Mike Wang. This is definitely the right time to do so. That one arm full court bomb shot animation was out of the game for a few years. I remember when I had a chance to test the game out, I asked Mike Wang on the spot only a few weeks before the game released and he was able to actually put it back in the game. So it's entirely possible for them to do that. It's never too late. We all know the most sought after feature, crossplay, has been confirmed for NBA 2K24. But to clear a few things up, it is only for next gen consoles. So if you're playing on old gen, PS4, Xbox One, you will not be able to play crossplay against other people on different consoles. So this is only for Series S and X and PS5. Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5 gamers can team up on the same team. So I suggest you guys start calling out your position rather than your icon when you're open. And this is huge for me and probably for some other content creators because over the years I've had to duplicate my builds on both consoles spending extra money that I could have been using for more builds or more stuff in game. And you guys know how I like hosting events. I can probably finally do that Xbox versus PlayStation event on probably the Mamba Court if it's still in the city. If you've been under a rock, you probably don't know that Kobe Bryant is the cover athlete. But just like in 2K23 with the Jordan Challenge, we are definitely getting the Mamba moments. So obviously we're gonna get a chance to relive some of Kobe's career-defining moments and I'm really looking forward to it. Because if it's anything like the Jordan challenges, it should be a lot of fun reliving some of Kobe's greatest performances. I just hope we get to unlock some incredible things as well. Like we know Kobe Bryant's brand wasn't as huge as Michael Jordan's, but some things still come to mind, like his lower Marion jersey from high school, the Kobe Six Grinches or the black and yellow Dell Souls. We got a Jordan logo gold chain in 2K23. Why not a Mamba gold chain in 2K24? And come to think of it, 2K was kind of lacking on the gold chains this year. 2K made it very clear in their description for their game that they're coming out with a tropical backdrop for the city. Now many are calling it a potential beachfront city with old gen hooping in paradise. Now although beachfront isn't necessarily confirmed, when you say tropical background, cliffside terrain and paradise, you put all that together, one could surmise as much. Which would be great anyway, we kinda need a break from the city. I love the concrete jungle, it's actually where I'm from, but at the end of the day, we've been seeing this kind of environment for the last maybe four or five 2Ks. It would be kinda nice to have a space where Maybe we don't see a whole lot of buildings blocking sunlight all the time. They've also made it clear in their description that side quests are optional. One of the more frustrating things for guys like myself who make a lot of builds was if my guys weren't around and I wanted to play offline and just kind of work on a build, every time I made a new build, I had to do that whole storyline all over again. So optional side quests is huge. I'd much rather have skippable cutscenes after my career games than to be forced to travel the city in order to, you know, level up my character. Oh, to win! Gotta finish that. Hey, you got the two hand smash, holy sh And last but not least, to get you guys fully updated, 2K is introducing something new called Pro Play. This is supposed to be groundbreaking new technology that directly translates NBA footage into 2K24 gameplay. It's designed to deliver animations and movement from on-court NBA action for a generational leap in authenticity. At least that's what it says. And I don't know if this means that it's a new engine per se, but it sounds like some groundbreaking new form of engine technology that could bring a lot more realism to the game. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm always excited when I hear things about authenticity and more realistic gameplay. And I really hope they're able to capture some old footage, like Michael Jordan's layup packages 
over the years don't really resemble his layup packages exactly the way he did them in real life. They don't always translate as well and they just weren't as effective as they were in real life. I mean, this guy kind of invented the jelly layups. They should even put LeBron's signature move in there where he looks at the ball and then just takes a step back jumper. I don't know how he gets away with that in real life, but if you could carry and then dribble out of that, it'd be kind of funny to do with the park. I mean, it's the park. Where else can you carry and get away with it? Anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section some of the things that you'd like to see in 2K24. I know I've stepped away for a little bit, but it's always that calm before the storm. I try to take a break from 2K, even gaming in general, and get a little bit of a vacation because we're going to be gaming hard body for like 10 to 11 months once 2K24 drops. So it's always good to get outside, get some sunlight, enjoy the summer have you guys seen the beach this year have you touched earth with your feet and some of you guys have girls august is a great time to spend time with your family and your loved ones get that little break in before the next game drops it's your boy shake as always smack that like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one